Hi everyone, and welcome to my review of Peter Farrelly's Dom and Dommer in 1994. Um, so here we are with the Blu-ray Steelbook. Um, yeah, this isn't mine, but I do have access to it. And um, yeah, uh, pretty basic Steelbook there. And you know, you have a kind of uh, really hilarious on the back there, of course, very wacky. Um, that's not actually in the film, of course. Um, yeah, but yes, this film, um, you know, I rewatched it again uh, last week, and um, yeah, I thought I'd review it, of course. I was debating, you know, whether to review it um, or not, but, you know, I, I, I soon realised, you know, I do want to review this film, I um, want to say my thoughts on it. Yes, it's, it's basically a cult film uh, that's, you know, now basically it is more than a cult film, if you could say. Um, when it came out, you know, critics did not like it, um, you know, Roger Ebert would give it a 2 out of 4, um, you know, but The Family Brothers, you know, for me, are actually really, really good. I also love uh, Leave Myself and Irene, um, that's a very controversial one, uh, even more so than this. 1.5 that time from Rodri, but um, but you know they, definitely you know they're not popular critically, but a lot of people um, fans and stuff do do like their films. Um, this is one of the most popular um, comedy films of all time, you could say. <clears throat> you know certainly modern cinema, and um, yeah, 1994 is the year, of course, of The Mask and Ace Ventura. Um, so it's the, the three films here that kind of launched Jim Carrey's career. Um, you know, and of course, he is a great great actor. Um, one of my favorite. Comedians, uh, just in general, and um, yeah, I think um, for me, this is the best comedy um, that Jim Carrey's ever been in, and um, you know, I think the greatest film. If you ask me, for that you know, I haven't seen Eternal uh, Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, but I would say The Truman Show uh, of the ones I've seen is by far the best Jim Carrey film. Uh, but this one is the best comedy film uh, that he's ever been in, and um, I just love this film to bits, um, and I actually think it's a great film. Um, hear me out, of course, uh, but yes. Co-written with his brother Bobby Farrelly, um, but Peter Farrelly directs this film, he's credited as director, and um, yes, you know, they would make quite a lot of other films as well, you know, me, myself and Irene, as I say, you know, I do love that one, um, and I think that's highly underrated, um, but yes, this one is their best, you know, and um, definitely, of course, you know, for me, it's not just a great comedy, it is just so well made, uh, and just, yeah, I think the performances, it's so hard to get this right, actually, um, throughout the entire film. This is the uncut version, of course, um, and yeah, basically, um, that I watched, um, which has the essential stuff in it, you know, that they do cut out at times on TV and stuff, um, you know, so definitely go for the uncut version, um, you know, and it has, it has quite a lot of the, some of the funniest stuff in the film, um, but yes, you know, this film, I've seen it so many times, um, I first saw it when I was about eight, and, um, you know, I wanted it for my birthday, um, DVD, and, um, yeah, uh, a family member got me the DVD, and I sat down to watch it. And I just became obsessed with it. Um, it was just, it's literally, from start to finish this film, um, it's absolutely hilarious. And um, there's only maybe a couple of, of bits here and there that, you know, could be veering into kind of, um, you know, not, not great comedy. Um, but for me, you know, it's just so, it's so well written, um, you know, it's so well timed and judged. Um, the performances are absolutely brilliant in my opinion. Um, as I say, it's so hard to get this right. You know, they are very, very wacky and you could say they're over the top at times, especially, you know, people would say, Jim Carrey, but you know, that's the whole point of the film, um, but there is a kind of, there is such a humanity um, in the two of the actual performances, um, especially, you know, um, Jeff Daniels, who plays Harry, and um, yeah, the story of course is about these two guys, these two absolute idiots, of course, um, you know, going across to Aspen um, in search of this uh, character of Mary, um, and yeah, basically, to give her the briefcase back that she left the airport um, at the beginning of the film and um, you know she's she's left it there for a reason and yes basically um, they give the briefcase they try and give it back to her of course um, even though she's left it there for a reason and it's this whole kind of uh, you know plot uh, involving these criminals and um, of course you've got the character example of, of Mental who is one of the people that go in search of these characters um, you know uh, Harry and Lloyd and um, you know in turn to try and get the briefcase back and see what's going on there um, they suspect that they're basically, um, there's something more than meets the eye with them, uh, but they are just idiots, of course, um, and they have literally just stumbled on, onto this, uh, you know, at random, and, you know, they've got things mixed up, and, um, yeah, they just, out of the kindness of their hearts, you know, they want to return uh, the briefcase and go all, the, all these miles uh, halfway across, you know, the country and stuff, um, uh, the states, and, yes, you know, um, it's a very, very um, silly film, um, but for me, it's really so, it's so controlled um, and it really is a great comedy film and um, just for me it's so well directed. Um, I think it's very, very hard, um, as I say, to pull this off and um, you know, I think the Faraday Brothers um, just really 
so well written and so well directed here. The editing is key and um, yeah, I just think pretty much all the gags are absolutely hilarious in the film. Um, you know, you've not, you've also got humanity to the film as well, as I say, and yes, the first act, um, you see them, it's so relatable and um, you know, it's just, it's just so human. I think there's an innocence to it, the purity, um, a childlike innocence to this film and, and how they act um, and it's something that I, you know, you can just relate to um, while also being, you know, very, at times, fantastical um, kind of thing as well because it's so, it's so far um, to, to the max in terms of the tone um, of the film, but it's so well controlled and, you know, you can go fine line there, you know, between kind of just varying into that kind of, uh, you know, really out there wacky stuff to, to something that falls flat and, um, you know, is annoying or just kind of really dumb, um, you know, and that's the irony of the film. It's not actually a dumb film, um, even though the characters are, I think it's such a great, great film, and uh, for me, you know, and I don't usually say this, um, but this is close to being a masterpiece, um, comedy masterpiece, you know, as you know, um, I've only reviewed a few films that have gotten, you know, masterpieces that are comedies, um, you know, and of course, the Chaplins are different, you know, and, and comedies that, that blend drama with comedy, um, but very, very few films, um, you know, kind of, I would give, you know, a masterpiece rating um, that are, you know, kind of pure comedies, um, and this one, not quite there, um, you know, it doesn't elevate that far, uh, but very, very close, and uh, yeah, I just think it's a great, great film. The use of music as well, um, it's just so good. You know, this is a road trip film um, after the first act in the film, and uh, you know, when they go on the road. This is just one of the warmest films, uh, comedy films that I've seen, and um, you know, it has such a charm to it. The energy, um, it's all there, the things that are required for a road trip film. Um, and then, of course, the second half um, is them Arriving in Aspen, um, and of course, uh, coming into contact with Mary and um, you know her family and stuff, and um, you know some of the best parts, um, you know, are here as well. Um, in, in some ways, the film gets better, and um, just it has a real scope to it. Um, you know, I am being serious here. You know, yeah, I do think this is a great, great film, and I think yeah, it has a scope to it, and um, you know, it just really it's such a journey um, with these characters. You know, they're they're kind of best friends, uh, live together at first, and it's just. Hilarious stuff. Um, the opening scene um, is just legendary. Um, you know, just just Jeff. The, I think Jeff Daniels is actually funnier, even funnier than Jim Carrey in this film. And um, you know, he's more a bit more of a grounded character. Um, but yeah, just kind of more more of a dry dry humour to him, and just something that actually for me is even more funnier. His character, um, you know, of, of Harry. And um, yeah, I think the opening is the perfect way to set the tone. Uh, but then, of course, as they go on this journey, um, you, you see such a great friendship and uh, it's so warm and human I feel um, and yeah just the perfect mix of kind of you know there's a kind of drama to it you know there's an undercurrent uh, of humanity to the film and um, yeah even though it's a kind of wacky uh, zany comedy um, of course and it's got great slapstick um, you know it really has and just just the scene of course um, one of the scenes for example when um, you know Jeff Daniels uh, you know kind of licks the frost and uh, gets his, uh, his tongue stuck uh, that is hilarious, and um, there's so many, you know, physical, uh, so much physical comedy in the film, and uh, it's just perfect, really. The the script um, is just actually kind of genius, um, mostly, and um, you know, there's a couple of moments that maybe go a bit a bit too far in terms of maybe I can't quite quite call them bits, you know, perfect. Uh, but yeah, only very very few moments in the film, and uh, the reason it's not, you know, full mark film because of that, and, but mainly just because it's not. It's just not there. It's not quite a masterpiece. You know, comedies usually aren't for me. Um, you know, but wow, you know, this is damn close. And uh, yeah, I absolutely love the film. Uh, these characters, as I say, they're so warm. Um, the friendship is so enjoyable. And uh, just just the character growth, actually, for me, is great. Um, I think, you know, as I said, uh, the scope the film has, the energy, you know, it never breaks tone uh, really at all. And the flow of the film is immaculate, you know, it really uh, it moves in such a such a graceful way, um, you know, comedies usually, um, they do, a lot of the time, especially modern ones, they do lose, lose steam at some point uh, in, in the film, and that's not me saying comedies are lesser genre, um, you know, but definitely a lot of comedies do kind of falter maybe halfway through, or in the final act especially, um, that can be the case where they go, they go way too far and stuff, but wow, you know, this film really is one of the rare ones, um, say modern ones, where it never breaks, uh, you know, in its flow. Um, it never comes to a point where it's just it's tired, or, or you know, just to a point where you're not. I'm not compelled by the film. Um, it's just such a great film, and um, you know, performances 
you know, across the board are great. Um, you know, you've got so much uh, great supporting cast in the film as well, um, and just so good. You know, I think um, this film is one of my favourite comedies of all time, um, and just in general, you know, it's definitely on my 500 favourite films uh, for sure, um, you know, just of all time. Any genre, um, you know, this film, I absolutely adore it, and, um, you know, I think even just the exposition in the film, um, you know, it's, it's some of the past of these characters, um, you know, the kind of thing going on, you know, the feud that they have um, with a particular character in the film, and, um, yeah, it's just the way it kind of, the way this culminates, um, you know, as well, and just the irony throughout the film, um, it's just so genius, really. Um, you know, it's kind of some people can call this uh, a silly film, and I, I, I definitely agree. Um, but it's not, it's not one that's not um, you know kind of well thought out. You know, this is something that is is so well executed, um, very precise. Um, you know, in terms of the for me the plot um, and all the gags and the placements, just the writing in general, all the references. Um, you know, kind of John Denver. There's so much uh, references in the film, uh, but they're so. You know they kind of uh, they don't feel like references. They feel like these these stupid characters. Um, you know that are just saying stupid things. Uh, they're kind of mixing up of dialogue and stuff. And, and you know the way that they, yeah, it's just it's so well uh, so well executed. Um, and I think as I say, the use of music um, it's just really amazing. Um, it's epic and uh, you know it kind of a perfect road trip film um, in the middle. The perfect kind of um, situation comedy at first um, where you get to know these. These two guys, uh, you know, in, in, in their, uh, you know, house and stuff, the apartment, and, um, yeah, and then, of course, you've got the romance uh, that comes into play as well, uh, the kind of love triangle, um, which is just, it comes into play so well, um, you know, this is not just a comedy um, in, in, in just, you know, it's not just an enjoyable comedy. I, I do think that this is, um, you know, really a great, great film, and, um, you know, it's one of them things, yes, it doesn't, it's not a Chaplin where it really mixes uh, drama in the way, you know, with comedy, uh, to really be emotional, um, but it is, it has got its touching moments, and it does, you know, have this undercurrent to the film, um, you know, and stuff, and, you know, while it may be, you know, kind of a, a wacky comedy, as I say, you know, it does actually have a lot of heart to the film, um, so much, and just, I think it's so well um, thought out, this, it's, it's kind of like a puzzle at times, um, and just all the gags, really, um, mostly are great, um, the, the kind of, the dream sequences um, are legendary, um, this is just, so enjoyable. This is one of the funniest films um, I've ever seen, and uh, you know I just think there's such a charm to it. You know, it's kind of, kind of a, an atmosphere, I, I, just a genius to this film. Um, you know, it's not quite a masterpiece for me, um, but it's so so close, um, and it has to get. I give it a rating that is the the highest rating I can give um, to a film that is not quite a masterpiece, um, and that's a ninety eight percent. So yeah, I do think this is one of the best comedies ever made. Um, you know, and of course. There are films, of course, comedies that I do give full marks to, and, you know, there is a comedy, of course, in my top ten of all time, that is a Chaplin film, um, you know, but I do, I generally basically prefer comedies that, that are kind of dramas as well, and, um, you know, while this one may not be, you know, like that, um, it does have drama elements in there, and, um, you know, I just think it's so, it's so great, these characters are so great, um, they really outshine most characters in comedy films, um, you know, kind of full on comedies and um, you know it's just so well directed um, the editing you know it's just something that I don't think gets enough uh, praise in terms of just how it, well it's executed um, and yeah you know m many people quote the lines and stuff um, but well this is something else actually um, you know and it's just I really marvel at you know the writing in this film um, you know and just the, the control of the tone um, the performances are outstanding um, Jim Carrey He's such a great com uh, comic actor, and um, Jeff Daniels here, I think I like even more. Um, you know, he's just great. The pairing is stuff of legends. Um, it's one of the best kind of double acts in cinema for me. Um, so, you know, all these things, you know, I just think it's a really a really special comedy, uh, personally. Um, a lot of people will be thinking, wow, you know, you really you think this is a great, great comedy. Um, but yeah, I do. You know, I, I think that's my honest opinion. Um, I actually do. This is something that just impresses me so much, and um, of course, I absolutely adore the film. Um, it is in my top 300 at the moment, um, films of all time, and um, one of my favourite comedies. Certainly in terms of non non Chaplin's, um, this is right up there with my favourites. Uh, you know, comedies and just just such a well written film, um, directed film. Um, it's got a true heart to it. You know, this kind of this warm, um, you know, the friendship uh, between the two characters, um, this warmth, this this heart, and uh, the way they kind of. They feud together, um, you know, over this the love interest, of course. Um, but then in the end, of course, it's about them together, you know, their friendship and their bond. Um, you know, that 
it's just so so warm and so kind of um, you know feel good film. Um, you know, this is just a film that can cheer me up. Um, you know, whenever I put it on, and um, it's a wonderful road trip film. So many great performances, of course, um, in the film, um, including of course. Lauren Holly and um, Mike Starr um, stand out, of course, in, in the film. And yeah, just all of this added to, to, to a film that is just so great for me personally. And, um, you know, I can watch this, you know, whenever, I, you know, just to comfort me. And, um, you know, it really is just a feel good film um, that I do generally think is a great, great film. You know, this is an outstanding comedy, in my opinion. Um, and yeah, you know, I think that definitely deserves this score. Um, this is an honest score from me um, to what I think. You know, the quality of the film and just my enjoyment, um, you know, it's so enjoyable and, um, you know, it's, it's one of them films that is so nostalgic as well. The, the feeling it evokes, you know, the childhood kind of, the innocence to it and, um, you know, just, just the silly nature. Um, but yeah, generally, you know, I would say if I didn't think this was a great film, I really do. And um, yes, um, if you've not seen the film, um, which is quite rare, you know, a lot of, most people have probably seen the film by now, um, you know, it's, it's a film that you know, you probably see as a kid. Um, and yeah, I think um, if you've not seen it, you have to check it out, um, and if you have seen it, of course, let me know what you think in the comments. And um, yeah, for me, I love the film, and um, you know, it's just one of my favourite comedies of all time. And um, yes, thanks for watching my review.